Hi guys, today we're taking a look at an abandoned Arby's. Uh, this Arby's is actually located in Nacogdoches, Texas, uh, right down the street from the Dairy Queen from last week. Back there you could have seen uh, where the sign was originally located. Um, also a little interesting note is that this building is up for auction. It's going to be uh, auctioned, I believe the sign says sometime in February, so it might not be around for too much longer. So coming up to the front door, uh, there's a sign that says, sorry, this location is closed. Uh, doing some research online, it looks like it closed sometime around 2016. Um, and oddly enough, while I can't find too much info on this location, there was another Arby's in Nacogdoches uh, that I found a marketing pamphlet for. Uh, we're trying to sell the property. It was produced in 2016 and it says uh, this location is currently operating. Please do not disturb the employees. So, looks like these two probably went under around the same time. Uh, coming around the back here, you can see that this got a relatively recent uh, all red repaint. This location uh, was previously very orange, uh, had the orange sign posts, big orange uh, sign as well. Checking out the menu board, there is a, what was a typed sign that said that this location is closed. There's also a bunch of leaves and pine needles and junk just built up in the bottom of that there. This shed up here at the top of the hill uh, is part of the Arby's, or I guess was part of the Arby's, is part of the property. I uh, decided since it was already open to come back, prop up the door and just have a little look. Um, there wasn't too much of interest in here. Uh, like a ceiling tile down there, there were some kitchen supplies, um, some uh, construction supplies as well. Most interesting thing down there were those Arby's cups. Um, and that light up there is actually mounted in the ceiling, I guess to use as a light. Um, so moving back uh, towards the restaurant, um, there wasn't really too much left in there, uh, but what was left was kind of weird, as you'll see as we get up closer here. Uh, the property itself is just kind of in poor shape altogether. Uh, there's a lot of leaves, a lot of junk. It looks like somebody who maybe been staying in the door well up here, because um, there were some personal belongings just kind of collected there. Love that sign there, condiments upon request. Looking inside, you can see there's a there's a coffee maker on the counter there, um, which is kind of weird because you doubt that Arby's would use one of those little single carafe brewers. Uh, looking up, you can see the menu boards with the uh, glass open to remove the menus. Uh, another couple of signs, so. The front of the restaurant, you can start to see something weird on the ground there. It's having a lot of trouble getting my camera to focus. Uh, this glass was very, very dirty. So you can kind of start to tell what it is now. It's it's a plant, it's a vine. Um, and as you'll see towards the end of the video here, it looks like one of the vines actually broke through the wall of the Arby's and is now growing inside of it. So coming up along the edge here, um, you start to see just how poor of a shape this place is in. There's plants growing inside. Uh, the windows are covered in old, dried, uh, what I guess was sign adhesive at one point. Um, there was some new concrete work up front, but it looks like that was done by the state who has uh, been renovating 59. Um, the road that this sits on, uh, the rest of the parking lot though is just to shambles. Alright, so well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I've got a bunch of videos coming up here soon and I hope you all uh, enjoy what's going on. Uh, if you would please leave me any kind of comments, feedback, anything like that, I'd greatly appreciate it.